Look at my little man. He's just woken up and he's like, I don't know what's going on. I was originally up there and I feel like I've slidden. Oh my gosh, he's so, he's so drowsy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my little man. I think my sneezes have gone. Um, yeah, he's like leaning up again. No, they haven't. Yeah, my little man is like leaning up against me. Because he's been really cute and he's just been sat with me and Laura all evening while watching TV. Oh my gosh, falling asleep on us. Um, but then obviously as I get up, he's just like, slips underneath the thing and he's fast asleep. He's like twitching. <laughs> he's just like, what the fuck? Um, but he's been such a good boy, he's done that. He's been sleeping in his actual bed, which has came in one of these two boxes because the first time I ordered it, it came with only one half. And the smaller box was obviously the one where it only had half of the bed. That was, so I mean, I don't know why they thought, anyway. Also, my ginger beer. I thought this was a bit of a dud, but it's actually quite bubbly on the top look. So bubbly as well that the ginger has been lifted off the bottom, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, that's, that's cool. Need to give that a bit of a taste test. Otherwise though, today was a relatively standard day. We had shopping, which Laura was supposed to go, but I went because she wasn't feeling very well. Um, and then today I've been doing testing stuff, um, basically trying to figure out how to write component tests so that we can do all of our tests at a in-memory component level at build time rather than release time. Uh, so we don't have to do integration tests or as many integration tests. Um, and it was good fun because I had to figure out a way of, I've done blog posts before actually about how to like host a web server um, so that you can test it. This was kind of a little bit different. I was hosting a web server and then pointing my code at it and then trying to record what was sent to it um, so that basically you can see all of the configuration that's being used to fire by our HTTP client in order to assess it. Um, so, good times. Um, and it's even like, yeah, it was really good fun. And I've like set up so that it's like validated against this third party schema, so it's basically identical. Um, ran it through a couple of times to make sure that, and like broke it deliberately, changed the way the serialization worked, broke the whole thing, great. Um, it was a great fun, I was thoroughly enjoyed it. My main man Monty has decided not to be cute today. I came downstairs to a clatter, and this was on the floor. So I think I know where someone, and actually I've just noticed that's on the floor. What is this, you little shit? Problem is, I keep taking him out of places to tell him off. So I've taken him out of the living room, of the kitchen to tell him off. And then like, he started to come upstairs and he's like, started to play with me. And the problem is, he comes and then just like, he looks at my computer chair and he's now started to jump up on the computer chair when I'm on it. And he get, just jumps up and like claws his way all over my leg to try and get up. So anyway, I kept telling him no, put him down, put him in here. And then I put him downstairs. Um, came upstairs and then all you hear is like clatter 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 and he rockets jumps from like here and like buries as I'm sat like here fucking terrifying otherwise Laura has gone to um, work today she needs to do some like printing and like create a bundle or something for court cool. um, so it's just me and the little man have been trusted on our own so he's taking liberties Just wants little belly rubs, don't you, Monty? Oh, look at this. Look at this little belly rub. Oh, yes. Okay, so I want to see what the camera is. It does have a little red flashing light on it, to be fair. I'm trying to figure out where I can put my slippers, which don't involve him just devouring them. But, you know, he's testing his luck today. Let me move this rug into here, since Laura's not here. And then you can have a nice soft place to sit on the floor in my room for a change. Laura's got a lot more soft stuff in her room than I do. Um, so I feel like I lose out. Or he claws his way onto my chair. Hmm. But the best thing about being a um, home way own is I can just play music through the speakers, not through headphones. And I can just like listen to podcasts and stuff and the radio. It's going to be grand. See, look, and then he does adorable stuff like this. Like he, he picks, ignore. I tried to give him an old pair of pants that I got for free from Hollister once that don't even fit me. 
but I thought I'd give him that to try and distract him. But he picks his little ball up in his teeth and brings it places so he can play with it. How adorable is that? Look at his little face. Hey, Monty. Monty. What's that? I mean, you're fucking around with that duvet, but otherwise, I don't mind, Monty. Because you're playing and you're having fun and you're not wrecking stuff. Well, that's relative, isn't it? What is that? Get it. Get it. He loves this ball. This ball is like the best. It's the best thing in his life. Because it's like felt, so it like sticks to his claw and then he thinks he's like play. It thinks it plays back, I think. But he keeps getting stuck on the duvet, oh, clearly. I'll leave you to it, Monty. I'll stop uh, distracting you. Oh, it's really stressing me out, man. <laughs> he just comes into my room and just starts like disobeying me. He knows down in the concept of downstairs when he's on the, when he's on the thing, he gets down. That's good. I've just had to resort to the water gun again because you ignore me, don't you? Oh, you're all damp. Because <laughs> he just took one and then it was like, I had to give him two. Close range as well, Monty. You need to dry yourself, buddy. <sighs> it's hard because like half of it, you've got to like let them explore places you don't want them to go. But you can't sit behind me clawing my back, all right? That's the line. <laughs> oh, God damn it. The thing is, they don't understand. They don't get it. They don't, they can't, they're not clever enough, you know? So yeah, stress, stressful day. <laughs> also, I've got like some minor changes to make to my pull request. And then I've got like a horrendous admin job to do uh, as well. Like trying to tidy up. We're trying to tidy up the environments while we know we've got something that just shits on the floor every day. Ugh, but we're not allowed the time to fix that thing. My lord. Stay in there. Stay in there. Go to sleep. See, like, he can be cute when he wants to be. But otherwise been absolute terror. Um, he's definitely at that point where he's like testing his boundaries a little bit, you know? Pushing the rules, seeing what he can and can't get away with and getting told off for it. Oh, God damn it. Otherwise, I'd move to way down the ginger using the weight. Um, this isn't fermenting very much, but it tastes very strong. It's like a ginger juice drink right now. Um, I'm hoping that that will basically, it's, it's bad to have the thing out in the air. It should be under the water. So it's like the majority of it's being weighed down there not by those two weights. Um, you've obviously got like a little bit, so come up to the top. We're just waiting for it to bubble more. Ferment, God damn it. Monty's due his mad, mad five minute dash around the house. Where are you at, Monty? Oh, it's hunting. Oh, you better not. You better not walk past here on your feet, your little toes, they're not safe. <laughs> what are you on? We are currently enjoying a the Congress, um, I don't know, whatever the fuck it is, with Google and uh, Monty, what are you scared of? Don't be scared of me, Mr. Monty. It's fine. We are friends around here, boy. Yeah, we've got like Google, um, Google, Facebook, Amazon and Apple uh, CEOs are getting like deposed by Congress. And firstly, like the whole like, like um, process that they go through is only like trumped for shit reasons by the EU's process, <laughs> which is like, it's just like, oh, we've got five minutes to ask you some questions. You're all at the same time. So like, uh, it's just a terrible process, but also like 50% of the people are asking bullshit questions about like conservative bias and whether or not they have American values because Google pulled out of a defense project that was like a, a DOJ project because, you know, it's a private company and they can do what they want. But that means they ally with the Chinese. <laughs> so it's not half as entertaining as I thought it would be, to be honest. Meanwhile, Laura's at a drinks thing um, with her work. They've got like a after work drinks at the boss, the boss's house. So I am on my own. And in a normal scenario like this, Monty, I would go and play a game or something. But I feel like if I leave you, you're gonna start wrecking the joint. So I might kind of babysit. Hey, what are you, who are you watching? 
But today, in, a, in like the last meeting of the day, it was like a relatively chill meeting. Um, he came in to um, come and say hello, and I picked him up, and he just fell asleep on my lap. It's so cute. God damn it. But he's only cute half the time, aren't you? Because now he's. Oh no, no. I thought he was going to come and beat me up. Oh, now he's going to beat me up. No. <laughs> Hey, no, also, you're not allowed to play on the stairs because you'll fall and hurt yourself. See what I mean? <laughs> you know what? After a mad however long and a little bit of sitting on my um, desk while I've been playing Satisfactory and only playing with my fingers while I'm going to get on the keyboard just a teeny tiny little bit. Look at his little belly. Look at his little belly rubs. Um, he's now calmed down, but now I've come downstairs to make a cup of tea. He is... Uh, I'm a bit more excited. Oh, bless you. He's actually a little bit riled up because it's time to empty his lit tray. And he doesn't like that. <laughs> We're also kind of trying to control how much he eats a little bit. We initially just kind of left, um, uh, left his food bowl down with like biscuits in it all day. Meow. It's okay, Mutti. Yeah. Um, and then we looked at like how much he should actually be eating and realized that actually that was quite different. Uh, so now we're trying to be a bit bit uh, tighter on his biscuits and he keeps polishing his food off every day. And I'm like, I don't feel like we should give him more for overnight. But then Laura, but then I look at his sad little eyes and Laura obviously has a different opinion. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this, but like when, when he picks you up, like he looks like a, he just kind of like lets you rock him like a little baba. He's actually excited about going on this side or looking in the thingy. But look at him. Look at his little baby little leg sock. Oh my gosh, Monty is so cute. But you're not going on the side, Monty. It's not happening. And even then, look, it just kind of looks like a little snake. A little baba. Or is he looking at peaches? I think he's looking at the peaches. What I love the most is you put him down and he's still in the baby position. He's still like, oh, you put him down here, okay. <laughs> he doesn't like go onto his feet or anything. You are so adorable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So when you use your teeth, when you do that. I'll play with your little handsies, that's fine. Oh, you're off. Bye-bye. Still watching this. I mean, I was playing Satisfactory for a long time and I've watched some other YouTube videos and whatnot. But I'm, um, I kind of want to, oh, thanks. Thanks, Docker. kind of want to go downstairs, but um, I can't really move. This ginger beer is a real enigma, you know? It's almost like it's not fermenting, but it is like a bit fizzy. Like, you see bubbles. So it's definitely doing something. But I tasted it today, it tastes very gingery. <laughs> um, but it still tastes quite sweet. So I'm leaving it one more day. Tomorrow, potentially, with my bottle. The first try is a bit of an experiment in a way, but we'll see. Today, pretty busy day. Lots of meetings, very hot as well. <laughs> so I've got to move the fan back into the bedroom. Um, I hate having, when it's hot, having loads of meetings because especially now with Monty, we have to like close a door. Also if Laura's like taking calls and stuff, it's a lot of hard work. And it gets very, very hot in my office. Um, otherwise, had my first mentee mentoring session today uh, with my mentee. That was good fun. I did like a demo of like two different things. Um, and then actually he wanted to know about something else, but he kind of asked about the wrong thing. And I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> um, let's, let's try my best at this. Um, otherwise, that went pretty well. I'm like racing to finish a thing. I've currently got an issue with my integration test at the moment. I think it's a threading issue. Um, but it's, I'm waiting. It's one of the worst kind of tests because it's waiting for something not to happen which is just the worst kind of test to do, but it's the only thing we can do at this level. Um, so yeah, just trying to figure out how it works. And it's gonna run in things that bugs me, but it's been time. It's so hot as well. Today has definitely been one of those days that qualifies IMO as too hot. It was way too hot today. It was like 30 degrees in here. I had the fan on in between meetings on literally max. It was like blasting at my back. <laughs> That's how bloody hot it was. But uh, it's been an all right day. We, I'm on holiday now for a week. So there was like a lot of just polishing stuff off for the end of, uh, you know, for like, for me, I guess. Um, I like 
finished off, fixed issues with some integration tests that I was dealing with. Um, I need to fix the fan orientation. Um, I was handing over some stuff that I've been doing to like manually check some things that we should have automated a while ago, but um, can't. We're, we're passing that on to like a different team. So this service that like got hot potato to us, it's been hot potato to them. Um, oh my friend. Just like some meetings. There's one weird thing, which is that I was finished off some integration tests and I couldn't figure out why the integration tests were failing on the box. Um, it, it looks like calling API manager from one of the service fabric nodes makes the API manager throw exceptions, just server errors. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm also really interested to see what changes are made while I'm away. I'm looking forward to that. But I've forgotten all about it. All I need to do is remember to silence Teams on Monday morning and then we're living the dream. Otherwise, today was a big day because Monty went to the vet for the first time. Well, for the first time we've taken him to the vet, I guess, um, for his second round of some vaccinations and first round of a different type of vaccination because the person we bought him from only gave him like two of the three we wanted to give him all three just in case because um, if you've got a house cat, it only needs two. Um, but we want to also like let him out into the garden sometimes at the very least. So he can kind of run around and like scratch at the floor and stuff. But it's a secure garden, with the exception of one thing which we can fix. Um, so, yeah, that was that. That was an interesting little outing this morning. Uh, and then otherwise we've been chilling, you know. He's been, see if I just press on now, it's gonna turn on at a seven. How loud is a seven? Whoa, boy. Let's <laughs> drop that down to a four overnight. That's fine. Put it on night mode. Set the oscillation to point at the bed. Yeah, boy. Um, that should do the trick. Just checking if it's giving Laura too much. I think that's giving Laura way too much. I need some more of that. <laughs> This is now the problem. Like, we've got like, I've got a full week off, I've always got two weeks off. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. You know, I feel like I should be doing something. Mr. Monty had a mad however long this morning. And now he's just snoozing. Taking little chin scratches whenever he can get them. Oh yes. Oh yes, you know that's good. Do you know that's good? Oh my God. Otherwise I've started it's like buying him things, so this is a thing to try and stop him from ripping down our fucking tea towels all the time. It's a pain in the ass. And we've got him like two things that are supposed to be good for like teething. Um, because he might, we feel like he's started to like kind of, he's been started to get told off for like nipping like our ankles and stuff. Um, and that is apparently something to do when they're like teething. So we've got him that and then like a little ropey thing. But it's a big problem, I, I, like, if you remember Graham, Graham lived like an absolute prince because I just kept going to the shops and buying him stuff. Um, oh my gosh, what do you want? Absolutely adorbs. Uh, and that's what's happening now. We went to the shop to get some litter tray stuff. Um, came back with like three toys. That's how we roll. And you don't have to do much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Monty has discovered looking out the window now. Um, and I went for my walk in the evening. He was just looking out the window when I came back and I waved to him as I came back in. It was so good. Um, but yeah, otherwise, we just watched Knives Out. That's pretty good. Um, just in general, nice, chill day. Formula One, we we'll race tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Nothing else on the plans though. So, YOLO. My little man has had a bit of a crazy morning. He's now. I literally just got into bed <laughs> um, and I've just got out again so I can end the vlog because I need to start a new video tomorrow. Um, Formula One today, bloody brilliant. Wow, it's really fucking boring until the very last race when everyone's tired starting to blow up. That was crazy. Um, that's about all we did today, to be honest with you. Just chilled out, played a few games, um, played with Monty for a bit, went for a walk, lived the dream. Thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you later. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since we've been out on the board, but this hairdo needs to go. And it's good weather, and I'm not damn well not getting a bus. I'm gonna buy some new bearings. There is like a uh, 
Yeah, it definitely, definitely needs some maintenance. I've said that before. I'm going to buy like new, all of the like, replacement parts, like bearings, maybe bushings. I think they're fine. It's just the bearings. I'm definitely going to get them. If I want to commute on it, I need to commute on these wheels and the range. Like, it, it just definitely needs it, you know? Um, that I can't go as fast as I want the whole way on these wheels. And I should be able to. And half of that problem is the pushing, is the bearing, sorry. And the other half is uh, how old the battery is. So I've got to like, give the battery as much kind of love as I can, and like assistance as I can with new uh, uh, bearings. And then I can get uh, a battery upgrade as well. If possible, just uh, a little bit more involved in changing the bearings. <laughs> And I know for a fact that uh, a couple of the bearings are like bad, so definitely does need changing at some point. But otherwise, we are cruising on in. I've got to go to my office and go pick up some oats. Uh, but otherwise, we're just cruising on into town, boys. Oh yeah, living the dream. I can barely remember what life was like pre-mop. What the heck? When I got like this, my hair doesn't move. <laughs> well, that cloud doesn't look good for our walks later, does it? Oh wow, I've got 2% battery. Monty has been an... So we actually didn't tell Dad's come down. He's at a hotel at the moment. Uh, we'll see him again tomorrow for like lunch and a walk. Um, but we didn't tell Dad about Monty because I have a little... Uh, um, what's the word? Complex? Compe I have a little complex for... Because I think we're boring. Me and, <laughs> me and Laura are boring. Like... Because everything we do is so like well planned out, like we don't do things like spur of the moment. So like everyone knows everything. Like if we see someone new, they know everything about us. We never have any surprises. I want to be like more like Beth and Ben, who just like rock up with a brand new car, just like casually. You know what I mean? If we were going to get a new car, everyone would know about it because we'd be like thinking about what kind of car to get or whatever. You know? We are obviously dog people, uh, growing up and whatnot. Dad doesn't like cats. But he loves Monty and that's what it's all about, boys, because he's an absolute babe. Otherwise, had a pretty good day today. We... Oh. You know what? We... I picked up Dad from the um, hotel as he came into like, Bristol. Got a bit lost, but that's fine. Um, and then we... Oh, well, while I was uh, shopping, Laura went shopping as well this morning. So we had to do like all the things we normally do on a Monday night in the morning, which is weird. But... um. Picked him up, came back here, showed him the cat. He tasted my batch of ginger beer. I think it's a write-off. Like, all, f all, of the, all of the bottles taste completely different. A lot of them taste too sweet, like it's just not even gingery. A lot of them, like, the ginger is, like, wearing down, so it's not even very strong. Um, I think it's a bit of a bad dud. I think I need better ginger. I think maybe supermarket ginger isn't good enough. I need organic, potentially. I went for a walk down in like, down and around Clifton, up around the Downs and whatnot, before we went to a restaurant, like a posh pub restaurant kind of thing. It was really nice food. Um, went in, it was the first time I've had like my temperature taken with like a little, like just an Android tablet with like a little camera on it. Um, and you know, you know when you go through the airport and you're going through like airport security or passport control, but more airport security, you know you don't have a knife on you, you know? But then as you step up to the, <laughs> to the security thing, you're about to go through the metal detector. You're like, what if it finds a knife on me? <laughs> you know? I, I know that me and, like, we're obviously all okay. Um, obviously it's not as simple as that. But, uh, you know what I mean? Um, but it took a temperature, it was fine. Like, apart from that, it was a completely normal, like, meal. Like, we just went out for a meal. It was completely normal. Really nice food. Really, like, nice place. Good atmosphere, etc. It was surprising. I was kind of expecting it to be a bit like weird, you know. Um, but yeah, it was really good fun. Otherwise, I've also joined a waiting list for the new Pixel because this phone is dead, mate. Permanently dead. Gosh, it's a really long day today. Um, my dad got here after his breakfast. We had like a cup of tea and then went for a long walk around town. We went down, walked all the way along the river from like the city centre, all the way around, back up, got sushi for lunch. Oh, I woke up this morning with a craving for sushi. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, and then he like headed back up to um, Nottingham, Norfolk, 
um, where he's off to. And then like we had like an hour or two chilling and then just by happenstance effectively, two friends from school um, were coming back from, back from, uh, sorry, they were coming back from Cornwall or somewhere like that. Um, it wasn't Cornwall, it's near it though. Um, and they were stopping at Bristol on the way past because we're here basically. And we came around and had a barbecue. It wasn't very good weather bar for a barbecue. So they like stayed in here. I cooked the barbecue outside and then like just kind of wheeled it in, you know, when it was ready. Um, and then we just like sat chatting for however long. Um, it was really nice, but it's just feels like a long day. The problem is like, like dad will say, oh, I'll get there for five. Uh, sorry, no, he'll say, I'll get there for 10. That means you've got to be ready for eight because he could rock up at any time. He's one of those people, you know, he will always be a significant chunk early. Um, so like kind of been on edge from then. And also while we're like talking, obviously Monty's first time around dad, then first time around like two other people. So we're like kind of adding more people. Um, and like it starts off all like kind of almost scared, like it was just sit with us and like kind of be quiet. And then halfway through the thing, he is just bolting back and forth, back and forth. He's just going absolutely batshit crazy. Um, but he's just having fun, yeah? Today is the only day of uh, this holiday that's like a full day, well, apart from Sunday, uh, it's like a full day chilling. Um, played some games, watched some TV, just kind of lazed around, did a little bit of like pottering, I guess. Um, been trying to find a place where I can buy organic ginger because my ginger beer experiment was an absolute failure. Basically, it just didn't ferment at all, it was just like drinking sugar syrup and it didn't even taste very gingery which was confusing because there was one day where I drank it and it was like proper ginger like catch on the back of your throat spice you know what I mean um I think it has a bit of a write-off not happy about that otherwise I had an electrician round to investigate an electrical problem with having um he like diagnosed it so we've got to pay for that but then he's gonna send us a quote for what he thinks we need to do um which we'll hopefully get done next week what else happened today? Not a lot. I had a go at, uh, in Formula One, I was going around the Vietnam track. Don't like it. <laughs> I don't like street circuits. I can't cheat as much. It doesn't suit my driving style. Um, I especially don't like street circuits that are, um, the trick that basically force you to have like low drag, high down, uh, high top speed, setups and then obviously there's really twisty corners that you struggle to go around because you haven't got enough downforce but that's by the by otherwise yeah that's about it boys that is about it it's a bit of a lazy day to be honest with you played a little bit of games you know what i mean oh man monty was just playing in the living room with the rug with like his little blanket thing and during mid the fight with it he just turned around and just like just sunk his claw into my foot. My God, did it fucking hurt. Like actually drew blood from my foot. He didn't mean to do it, but my God, <laughs> sometimes. Um, otherwise today we had about half a day just chilling at home and now we're in like the, a three day slog <laughs> in the nicest possible way. We have um, Laura's parents are down tonight and Friday night. So we've had like all day today just like here, and then we went out for a meal. And then tomorrow we're gonna to be doing all day, we're having a really long walk, and then they're coming here for a meal. And then Thursday we're going out for another walk. <sighs> That's a lot of socialising. That's a lot of chat, you know what I mean? Dad was here in total for about 24 hours, in total, including the time he spent in his own hotel. <laughs> um, but there was, it will be literally like walking around for 24 hours talking for 24 hours. I ain't got 24 hours worth of chat. So, yeah, I'm uh, just going to bed now. God damn. Um, but yeah, otherwise we went out for a meal. Mine actually wasn't very nice. I feel like the fish was undercooked. I had like fish and chips and it, the fish was like mushy. Um, it wasn't very, yeah, it wasn't particularly nice at all, but uh, it's life. <laughs> Also, like, I think the place that we went for a meal with Dad on Monday was really nice. 
and actually really reasonably priced, like for the same price, that meal was nowhere near as good. Like not even, not even close. So, but yeah, anyway, um, it's bedtime. I'm trying to figure out. Now you should don't just put a plaster on a cut just because it's it's fine. Today was a hot, hot day, and we bailed on our like three or four hour long walk around the Bath skyline uh, in favour for one on the coast, which was a good shout um, because it was cooking. But otherwise after that we came back, we had like a little picnic, kind of sandwich, and then came out, came back here, we had fajitas for dinner. Um, we off dinner tomorrow, sweet and sour. Um, living the dream. So yeah, it's been a relatively different day to what we were expecting, but it was nice and chilled out. Um, it's been long, man. <laughs> uh, we've got like effectively the middle of the day slash afternoon with them again tomorrow, and then we're free until Monday when I go back to work. Laura's got another week off. It's been a jam packed week, man. I'm knackered. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should let Monty. He's meowing. Let's see what's he meowing at. Okay. Have the run of the house tonight. I feel like we could let him. He does seem to spend a lot of time just upstairs asleep. You okay, Monty? I don't want to feel like you're locked in. Who's that? Who's this? <laughs> we can't give you this kitchen because he does things like try and get behind the fridge and climb on the sides and dumb stuff like that. But we could give you the rest of the house, which is like our bedroom upstairs. But the problem is. He sometimes gets a bit nutty. We're not sure whether or not we want that. <laughs> but because we've been out today, he has been in there for quite a while. And as you can see, like, he doesn't want to, he wants to be with us, don't you? Yeah. Saturday today, the week is over. Um, Laura's parents, we went for a walk and then we have basically done nothing since. We've literally both watched qualifying and then basically snoozed the afternoon away was just like trash TV on. It's been great. Um, both of us clearly knackered <laughs> after so much like walking around and entertaining and whatnot. Otherwise, Monty is being trialed with having more of the house. He's like, he lives in the living room when we're not around. So like at night time or when we go out. But that means that like he has to have his litter tray in there. Um, and like, it isn't that big a room, but what, especially when it gets bigger we're going to end up at some point giving him just like the run of the house. This room is a little bit too dangerous, we think, without us. He climbs up here, puts his hand down the hole back there. He's, there's like little gaps that we've tried to block up with cardboard boxes. Um, and he's just in, all in all a bit of a terror. So what we're trying to do is open that door, close this door and then give him upstairs. Upstairs is a little bit better. We did it last night and it was relatively okay, but then he, at midnight, <laughs> woke me up because he just started clawing at my elbow, wanting to play. So I had to bring him and put him downstairs. But we're gonna try it again. So that's where we're at at the moment. Last day of my little holiday, little holiday today, um, Monty slept all night on my legs. I didn't sleep very well. Predominantly because it was too hot, but also because I was perpetually terrified of him just like clawing at my legs. But apart from that, <laughs> it was super hot last night. Um, too hot for the likes of my poor <sighs> wimpy ass. Um, today has been a chilled day. Been playing some games, been watching Formula One. That's about it. I had a really big dinner that I'm now trying to walk off. Otherwise, we are back to work tomorrow, so I've got to try and get a better sleep tonight. Um, Monty's had a nice chilled out two hours or so, so now he is in fight mode. <laughs> Those shoes are gonna wish they'd picked on a different cat. Back to work today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you now, it feels super weird um, getting up. Like, it didn't really feel weird taking holiday, but it feels weird going back to work because like nothing changed between today and yesterday i just woke up a little bit earlier and then sat in my computer chair and then we've been work instead of it's just bizarre i'm not gonna lie to you in my absence things seem to have gone to, to pot 
Um, although a lot of issues seem to have arisen um, while I was away. So yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure what to answer you what went down, but um, attempting to refigure out where what the state of everything is is really difficult. <laughs> like I have next to no idea what I'm looking at. Um, so I've suggested ways that we can keep better track of everything we've done. And also the scrum master also mentioned that she didn't recognize, uh, she was tripping. And I was like, you know what? She's got a point. <laughs> this is fucked. Um, but I think it's a perpetual challenge getting developers to be bothered enough to update states on tickets, you know? Otherwise a ticket that was started before I left, um, I've re-picked back up again. So someone else was doing it. They're now doing something else entirely. And I'm picking it up for the last bit. Well, the last bit is basically raise a ticket to do it in production, a uh, request for change in production, um, which has been just 20 questions because I've got to chase around 20 different people. I wasn't the one who did it in the test environment. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> I've not been here. Uh, it's been an absolute hoot. Otherwise, shopping day as per usual. We've also purchased a new kettle and a new toaster. I got a bit excited on the toaster. We've got a quite expensive, jazzy, smart toaster because that's the kind of person I am now. Uh, but I wasn't uh, sucking in on an expensive kettle. Um, we just got a relatively normal kettle. We have hard water, so. I was almost sucking in, but then like, when was the last time I cared about the temperature coming out of the kettle? I don't need to vary it. It's gonna set it to one, one setting and I'm never gonna change it again. What a waste of time. Also, well, I'm scale. It's gonna break it one day. No point getting an expensive one. Um, that's another thing as well. Things like keep warm. Why would I want that? <laughs> yeah, so you got that lot to look forward to. It's kind of exciting stuff that goes on in our lives. Um, what else? That's about it, really. Went for my morning walk. It was really, it's really hot. It's really muggy. It wants to rain, and when it rains, it'll be fine. There's, we're like yellow warning thunderstorms. Whenever they break, bliss. I generally don't know how you're supposed to operate in this kind of heat. It's so hot. God damn. Got the fan on downstairs to cool the living room down, because otherwise the living room gets too hot. The fan is just following us around the house now. Was it worth 300 pounds? Was it fuck? <laughs> it was nowhere near. Mr. Monty. Oh, there you are. You're just jumping off. Yeah, boy. Good day at work today. Did some stuff. I'm like the worst person in heat. I don't get anything done. It is now bedtime. We have given up on allowing Monty to sleep up here until he is a bit older. Potentially once he's calmed down a little bit. Maybe things would be a little bit different if it wasn't so goddamn hot at night time. Um, but it's so hot that we just, can't deal with having a, potentially a mauled by a cat and trying to, trying to be caught. How did you get down here? You're gonna go for my feet? Nope. This is why he gets too playful. He's like, oh, okay, oh, it's playtime, is it? No, it's bedtime. For the past three days, we've been like forecasted thunderstorms um, that would in theory end this heat but every day it keeps getting pushed back, so it's been getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Today, ludicrously expensive, uh, hot. Um, I was in my office, the fan is on full. It's still 30 degrees. Don't know what to do with ourselves. Monty was really restless. We've given him like a towel with like cool blocks in it, so it's like a cool place for him to lie. Um, it's so hot, it's, so, it's unreal. I think if someone wants to sleep in here today and he's not going to, um, but yeah, man, my God, it's literally unbearable. Fucking next to no work done today. Need to work downstairs when it's cooler. Um, but yeah, um, otherwise, been good fun. Work, like I say, next to unbearable, but in the evening we went out. Again, driving was unbearable as well, but we drove to town to go out for a meal with Beth and Ben. Um, it rained while we were there, but it was like, the centre of town, torrential rainfall, stopped here, Dryensburg. So there was like thunder and well, lightning, but no rain, so it's still really hot. So 
Laura went to bed. She's, she's got a headache. She's overworking today. Um, new sprint tomorrow, though. Um, yeah. God damn it. Flip it That way. Bye. As I said, that has started raining. Yes. Cool it down a bit. Just is apparently it's supposed to rain for an entire week, and I'm not going to complain once. What is that noise, mister? Hmm. What is it? Oh, a little bit of scratches. So Monty's got himself in the bath somehow, uh, and he's just poured that the plug down, and it's scared the living shit out of him. He doesn't like that. <laughs> but also, the weird thing about Monty is he either looks like he's scared. Or he's concerned. Yeah, you know, wait, wait for him to just. Monty. Look how concerned he looks. He's like, are you okay? <laughs> you know, like he looks at you as if to say, like, you feeling all right, mate? <laughs> Monty. You okay, buddy. It's like, uh, yeah. Are you? Oh, I don't think he can get out though. I think I've got to lift him out. Cause you're big enough. Oh boy. You got it running scared, boy. Another day. Yep. Yeah, not enough rain. It's supposed to be forecasted heavy thunderstorms all day today, not a drop. It is now cool enough to walk around outside at the very least. Um, oh, hello, Monty. We're not playing, mister. Cool enough even to have a semi-productive day, to be honest with you. It was kind of impressive. We had planning in the morning, and then I was churning through some mappings. Um, my stones have moved into here because... Monty knocks him off my windowsill otherwise. Um wonder where he is. His little face. <laughs> um oh I actually need to remember the window is a bit open. Did I open the window or did I not? Yeah I did. Right, so be careful of that. Um Yeah, planning it's one of them plannings though where like we have a deadline halfway through the sprint. So everything needs to be done by then. <laughs> so Good times, um, but it's it's feasible. It's going to be tight, but it's feasible. But I, I had a thing yesterday where I'm like, uh, in sprint retrospective, I was like, I feel like the team could be very, could be overly optimistic and potentially paint a better like picture of where we are than we actually are. I mean, I mean that's, um, and then like today, that effectively happened, and we're like, we kind of started to because of that, started to make more noise. And then they're like, you guys need to tell us. And I was like, yes, I was right, boy. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that really. Tomorrow, it's gonna be an interesting day because me and Monty are gonna be locked in the living room as um, we have an electrician around, potentially no electricity. It's gonna be an absolute hoot. <laughs> I discovered today that um, Having an entire day without electricity is complicated. I think Mr. Monty might want to stay. Okay, Mr. Yeah. You can stay there if you want. But only if you'll be quiet. Big yawn. Yeah, we had an electrician come around um, today and fix our fuse box. We've now got a new one in big patches where obviously the old one used to be. We used to have two and one of them wasn't, well, both of them weren't done properly, but one of them was really old and we had an electric problem where it just kept shorting, wasn't good. Um, but hopefully fixed now, that's all good. But yeah, we had all day, no internet, only like battery chargers basically. Oh, here he comes, Mr. Monty. I managed to do like most of my day on 4G on my phone for meetings and then we literally didn't get internet back until about half four, five. Um, but that's mainly because of the router. The router comes on in the wrong order, the modem and the router. The router, I think, confuses the modem. Isn't that right, eh? Hey. Hey. You okay? You want to play, don't you? But you, we're not playing. And if you want to play, then you can stay downstairs. It's as simple as that, mister. But yeah. Otherwise, I've been in here cat sitting because he was going like back and forth out the out the house, out the front door, and obviously Monty could run into the street. <laughs> so, and then like as the day goes on, we miss lunch. I was getting a pounding headache. I've just had like I've already had like a two-hour nap, 
trying to get rid of my headache. I might have uh, some paracetamol before bed just to tide me over. If you're nice and chill, Monty, you can come and stay upstairs. You can sleep upstairs with us if you want. Is it raining? But yeah, I think being penned in this room <laughs> proper knocked my head for six. But I'm going to end this video here. I haven't uploaded a video in about 17 years, have I? How long's left on the timer? Can't even fucking read it, boys. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to start the video in earnest tomorrow. Yes. New start to the day. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.